As UK engineers, you know how your stock is delivered. Now we're here at Bola to find out how their storage system manages your material on behalf of Casto. Now, Mike, we're here on behalf of Casto, uh, but could you tell me a little bit more about Bowler Other Home, your company? Uh, Bowler, uh, we're in Albury in the UK. Uh, we're part of a large group, Porsche Alpine Group. Many of the metals that we actually store on site here come from our own mills, uh, so we produce all of our own metals. Uh, on this site here, this building, about 5,500 square metres. But as you look round it today, you see a lot of empty space. If you'd have been here three years ago, you'd have seen racks from the floor to the ceiling. And they're about nine and a half metres tall. If you imagine guys trying to lift eight metre lengths, three ton weights from nine and a half metres, 15 forklift trucks whizzing up and down aisles doing this all day long, it's quite a dangerous environment. And you've got the problem with stock control because you've got the, the guys actually trying to put the stuff back as well as taking it out. There was no room for expansion at all. So we'd heard about a Casto system. There are several others within our group around the world, and I went to have a look at two of them, and they work very well. I also looked at the competitor's uh, system as well. Again, that was a very good system. Nothing wrong with it. The big advantage that Casto had for us was twofold. One bowler group had already bought some, so it was a known entity. And the other reason was that we got uh, engineer support in the UK. And that was the big difference. Because once you put one of these machines in, if it stops, the business stops. So obviously we're looking at the system behind us here. What sort of capacity can it hold for you? This machine here has roughly 2,400 cassettes. In each cassette, it's about three and a half tonne that you can hold. So your absolute maximum is just over 8,000 tonnes. In reality, you'll use about 50 or 60% of the actual volume. You'll never fill it completely because you never get the exact size. Now, with the type of sectors that you serve, I'm looking at some of the materials, they're very specialised products. Are they aimed at both OEM and also tier supply chain companies like the aerospace, for instance? Yes, they are. We supply aerospace, oil and gas industry, tool making industries, all of them. Um, we'll supply direct to the customer, or we'll, indeed we'll supply to stockists as well around the world. Now, I, I presume, obviously, the amount of money this must cost, even with the building you had to build to, to actually you know, put this in. Yep. Um, what is the future hold for the company? Future for this company now, if we hadn't have made the investment, we couldn't have grown. The absolute maximum we could have held on this site was 2,600 tonnes. Now, even at running at 50%, we can hold around about 4,500 to 5,000 tonnes. So we can double the amount of business that we can hold. The big advantage there for the customers is we can hold more stock, there'll be more uh, availability for them. So it's quicker, it's faster for them. Also, what it's done for us, whereas 2,600 tonnes covered 5,500 square metres, now you've got more or less 5,000 tonnes in 950 square metres. So it's freed up an awful amount of space. But I suppose with the type of investment here, it's got to be a long-term project, isn't it? It certainly has, yeah. And I think what it's done, it's actually taken this, this business from being a 1970s, 1980s business to projecting us into the next 20 years, into the future. And lastly, what sort of backup do you get from Casto UK? What we found is um, the engineering support, both in the UK and Germany, I have to say is excellent. Um, what we decided to do, because we knew if this machine stopped, we stopped, the business stopped. We decided to train two of our operators to be technicians. Casto have trained them for us, as well as our facilities manager. So I've got three trained people on site at least one at any one time. They've got contact with Germany 24 hours a day via the internet. We've got emergency phone numbers. We can get hold of people on weekends, etc. As it happens, the last breakdown we had was a Friday afternoon, and it was a safety sensor that got smashed. And we couldn't run it without a safety sensor. We got in touch with Germany. 
explained to them we needed to run Monday. They put the part into a taxi and they shipped it over. But Saturday morning the part was here, Monday we were running again. So I, I can't complain about that. But the level of knowledge that we've got now compared to what we did have, which was nothing, our confidence level in the machine is, is a lot higher now. Well, it sounds like an amazing success story. And I would imagine as you grow, there's space to my right hand side that could have system two. Uh, certainly. We did design it so that if we had to, we could build another one exactly the same as this right next to it. So we could double the business again. Mike, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.